Well, little Lisa's disappearance hit home for one local woman. Chris Hernandez is live with her mission to find a happy ending to the search. Chris? Hi, Elizabeth. Here at the house, at times there, have been, there has been a lot of activity throughout the day, but take a look right now. It's uh, quite a down quite a bit. Police say they have moved on to keep searching in other areas. For example, late this afternoon, these officers were going door to door just a few blocks from here. They're knocking on doors, talking to residents, and searching inside for clues. Neighbors seem happy to help. In fact, we talked with one woman who wants to help increase the reward fund for the TIPS hotline, and she may launch that effort tomorrow if still needed. But I want to raise uh, reward money to bring this baby back home. Uh, also quite a sight today as FBI agents put on white suits. They were swabbing for scents. This is called scent collecting. And then those scents are helping the dogs who are searching in the woods. Now back here live at the scene, you can see what is left here. Just one police car keeping this home secure. Uh, the family has not yet moved in. They did come back briefly to get some personal belongings. But uh, they're going to keep this home secure at least for now. Reporting live in the Northland, Chris Hernandez, NBC Action News. Hey, Chris, talking about a reward. Have we heard anything more about that? Is there a big Big reward out there? Well, you keep in mind that with any crime, the TIPS hotline automatically offers a $1,000 reward. So that is certainly in effect right now. Uh, what this woman wants to do is find a way to increase that with public donations. So she's laying some of the groundwork behind the scenes now. The TIPS hotline said to wait off just a little bit before she launches that. So that could happen a little later. All right, Chris Hernandez, thanks a lot.